Sometime in 1981, the Blade Runner production department received a call saying Philip K. Dick would be attending the studio for a screening of test reels. The author of the novel on which their movie was based arrived via limo from Santa Ana. Philip K. Dick was not happy. He grilled the staff about the poor script, and despite a studio tour and a presentation of the concept art and models, the author could not be won over. He met with Ridley Scott and went into the screening room. David Dreyer said Vangelis hadn't supplied the music yet, so he played old Vangelis albums while showing the reels. For 20 minutes, minutes, Dick sat there like a statue. When the lights came up, he said gruffly, can you run that again? So the projectionist rethreaded and ran it again. After a second viewing, the author sat spellbound before raving that the images were identical to those in his head when he'd written the novel. In a letter dated October 11th, 1981, Dick wrote, I think Blade Runner is going to revolutionize our conceptions of what science fiction is and more can be. Sadly, however, after a sequence of strokes, Philip died on March the 2nd, 1982, four months before the release of Blade Runner.